and I think now is when the struggle begins. I have mapped out all the chapters of my novel. Light my writing candle, there we go. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy and welcome to the start of NaNoWriMo weekly vlog number one. So it is November the 1st. I have just finished work and it's officially the start of NaNoWriMo. Like I am buzzing. I am really, really determined to just smash it this year. So this year is going to be a little bit different in the sense that I am starting with around 13,000 words already written of my project. And I really just want to get as close to finishing the project as I possibly can. So I really wanted to give myself a bit of a head start, but also just to kind of give myself a bit of a jolt of inspiration in terms of like knowing where I'm going. And I do find that because I'm not a big planner, you know, having a little bit of the book already written does help me kind of start NaNoWriMo. So if you're new to my channel or you haven't watched my Nano vlogs before, they will be pretty repetitive in the sense that it will be me sitting at my desk for a whole month writing this novel. However, I really want to make these vlogs a little bit different by giving you insight into my kind of craft, like how I actually approach writing a novel because this is my 10th year taking part in NaNoWriMo and it, hopefully if I win, will be my fourth time winning. So that's really exciting and honestly, I'm always like so looking forward to this time of year because it really just allows you to focus on you know writing and the joy of that and the difficulties of that as well so do get yourself a cup of something warm and just settle down with me for this video and my forthcoming videos which will be every single week and we're just gonna go through the process of writing a novel so as you can see i'm 13,772 words into my project which if you did watch my NaNoWriMo announcement video i'll leave that link down below you'll know that my project is called season of mists and it's a historical fantasy book and I'm super super pumped about it. So I haven't actually updated my word count yet on the NaNoWriMo website so I'm going to do that now and obviously I'm going to get a really nice big boost because I'll have already hit 13,000 words out of 50,000 words but because NaNoWriMo doesn't let you change like if you're entering NaNoWriMo the kind of event it doesn't let you change how many words you want to hit so i am just going to update it as thirteen thousand, but with the caveat that i really hope to get to a higher word count than fifty thousand words for this nanorimo so let me just enter thirteen thousand seven hundred and seventy two words there we go i've got it already on the website which is exciting and as you can see I've already got some badges, which is lovely, but equally I know that, you know, the real badges that will matter will be the big 25K one and the 40K one for me, I think. So do add me as a buddy. I will leave the link down below where you can add me and let's do this together. So before I do start writing, I need to wash my hair. I'm actually going into the office tomorrow, so I need to kind of make myself presentable and ready for that. So I'm going to have a shower quickly and then get straight onto writing for my first writing day of Nano. So checking in with a Monday night, a day one update. I have written 1,977 words tonight. So I started at half six, it is now 10 past nine, and I've written nearly 2,000 words today. Like what? This never happens on day one of NaNoWriMo, like ever. So I am like super, super buzzed. I'm so happy about that. I just feel really inspired and NaNo is off to a great start. And one piece of writing advice for NaNoWriMo that I really want to impart and something I have learned over the years is 
When you are finishing off a writing session, it's really important to leave it halfway through a scene because I think there's something about picking up on a scene where you're really, really excited. So what I have kind of done in the past and what I did the last time I stopped writing this project was I just like cut off halfway through a scene that was so, so exciting and I just wanted to get back to it and just write the scene. So it's really important to always think about your future, like your next day writing sessions and just think like, how can I make this as exciting as possible for future me? So I'm just going to kind of leave the middle of scene and um, the middle of a sentence and just try and pick it up tomorrow. But my total word count is now 15,748 words. I've hit 15,000 words. I'm so, so happy. Reminder, obviously, I was on about 12,000, 13,000 when I did start Nano. So all in all, a good day's work. I am it's day two of NaNoWriMo and I think now is when the struggle begins. So I have been in the office all day today. I've just really got home and it's already 20 past seven. So I think this is really when the hard work begins in the sense of like, I have a very busy day job and I'm already exhausted. All I wanna do right now is curl up on the sofa, put on Married at First Sight and just chill. But no, it's NaNoWriMo time. We can't do that. So. I'm sat at my desk again and I've got my pyjamas and a big fluffy dressing gown on and I'm just going to write and I'm just going to try and see what happens. You know, last night I wrote so many words that, I don't know, like, not that I've kind of like lessened the burden for myself today, but I do feel like because I was so productive last night, I don't have to be as productive today. Like if I write just under the word count, like the daily word count goal of 1,667 words, then I should still be okay. But I'm going to light my writing candle. This is another NaNoWriMo tip. And I think it's a good one. If you're a fan of candles and you like to just set the scene for your writing, get yourself a nice writing candle and you put it on every single time you're gonna write something. So excuse how like sooty this is. I feel like because I didn't trim the wick, it just got like this really quickly, but I'm just going to light my writing candle. There we go. Perfect. And this is the setup right now. Hi everyone, so it's currently 10 past 10 in the evening on Tuesday, the 2nd of November, and I have just like gone above my word count again, which I can't believe. There's something about the story which I'm just like really enjoying and just like loving being in. So I have written 1,736 words so far, and that brings my total word count to 17,484. So we're doing well so far. I think like the struggle will be missing days like for example if there's a day where i have plans after work or i'm doing something i think like it's very easy to feel behind and then like end up just carrying on that streak of kind of like not being in the right zone i'm coming towards the end of act one now i'm on chapter six so i kind of have an idea of what i want the end of act one like the kind of big kind of act one climax to be. Um, and I'm really excited to get to that. I think I, you know, this is a historical fantasy. It's supposed to be quite dark. I'm just like trying to ramp up the the darkness in it. Um, but it's hard because I'm used to just trying to write like fluffy fan fiction, essentially. Um, but I'm enjoying it so far. I think like, I'm just finding the characters very easy to write and it's just flowing very naturally. So thank God it is going well so far. Usually like there's always an issue when I hit kind of like the middle of act two. I think 
what we don't want is as a lot of writers call it a baggy middle and i think like it can be very very easy to start your project off with a bang and obviously have a really powerful climax at the end but i think the middle you you need to have a really tight tight middle and keep the action flowing and kind of the action steadily creeping up towards the climax in act three so I'm trying to keep that in mind I actually don't know what my act two is going to look like yet um this is me I am a pantser which means I write by the seat of my pants as they call it in writing speak but I kind of find that like I do have an overall goal for act one and I'm hoping like when I write that act one climax it will kind of send me into act two with a bit more of a basis in terms of like what the big kind of plot reveals are going to be what the big action dramatic scenes are going to be if there's any plot twists yeah I have no idea right now but that's the beauty of just kind of not planning you can just see what your mind comes up with and so far I'm kind of pretty proud of the book so that's really exciting. So closing it down for day two and I'll pick up with you guys hopefully tomorrow for day three. Hi everyone, it is currently a few days later. It is Saturday the 5th of November. So I've not checked in since Wednesday and it's basically because last night I didn't really do any writing. I wrote about 900 words. The night before that I didn't write anything and the night before that I also wrote around 900 words. So today's really like the first time that I've properly been like trying to focus on writing since Wednesday really. And the reason because of that is something that always happens every year. Work takes over, you know, like life takes over and I just start to lose track of like my writing time I guess and that's like very very common I think like a lot of you guys doing NaNoWriMo you'll probably find that there, there are a few days that sometimes you just can't get in the zone and that's absolutely fine as long as you have days set aside that are your kind of like buffer days where you know that you can just focus and write a lot of words on that day so today is Saturday and I must say today has not been the greatest day either it's currently 3 p.m and I kind of wrote like a few hundred words like early afternoon but honestly I have been struggling today it's also because I've had YouTube work to do so I've just done that YouTube work and I've kind of like set my video to go live tomorrow which is fine at least that's out of the way now but I need to go out in about two and a half hours I'm going to see the fireworks because it is a bonfire night in the UK and Honestly, I'm like, how much can I really get done in two hours? But that is not the right mindset. So we are trying to change that. So one thing I thought I could show you guys was how I do my outlining as a pantser. So as someone who doesn't plan the novels, how do I know where I'm going? How do I outline? And I'm holding up my kind of notebook here. I'm a very digital person, but I think there's nothing better when you're trying to brainstorm when you're trying to like plan things out there's nothing better like than paper to do that you know what I mean so I do obviously use Scrivener which is a tool for writers and as you can see I have got it divided up into three acts so this is the way that I structure my novel so I already have all the chapters that I need to fill out down the side here and I find that super useful because then I know how long my book is going to be and I'm currently actually on chapter seven at the moment. Now, if we just open up my notebook here, which is the title of my novel up here, um, but I have basically done a similar thing where I have mapped out all the chapters of my novel. So I've got all the chapters of act one here. So I use a three act structure. I use nine chapters per act and there we go. I've kind of like written them out. So as you can see, I haven't planned Act 2 yet. I don't really know what is going to happen yet in Act 2. I've got a vague idea. But I have started to plan out a bit of Act 1. So what I do is basically I'm covering my details just so, you know, because they're just a bit rough around the edges. But basically in each chapter, I write a summary of what will be in that chapter. And what this does is it's not very thorough planning, but it's still enough to kind of give you a sense of where you're going. So I would recommend this if you're like me and you know you're just trying to know where you're going but also let the story take over I'd recommend this style of planning because it's just super helpful. 
So as I said, 3 p.m. I've just made myself a pumpkin spice latte and I'm going to start writing for the day properly. So I've done 124 words already. My current word count stands at 18,529 words. And honestly, I'm just hoping to get to the daily word count today. So that is 1,667 words if you're trying to be on target to write 50,000 in a month. And obviously I'd love to write that many words. So let's just go, shall we? Because I feel like I am wasting time and I love speaking to you guys. And that's why I'm kind of like doing this instead of actually writing, but let's just write. And I think it's important in these moments where you're just not feeling it. In NaNoWriMo, you just have to push through and it's hard, but it's necessary. We've got to think of the book. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. So I have hit my word count for the day. That's 1,672 words. So massively released. It is quarter to five. So that took me probably like an hour and 45 minutes ish to do. And I just got into such a good zone there. Like I love that feeling when it just kind of takes over. You're in the flow state and I feel really good about what I've written today. Usually on a Saturday, I usually aim for about 4,000 words. Like I know I can write that in a day, um, but obviously I think today's been a weird day where like I've been doing other things and I haven't just allowed myself to get into that uninterrupted headspace because I know that I'm going out in a bit and I kind of was working on YouTube stuff until about like 3 p.m. So, I'm really happy about what I've managed to get done and actually I'm really nearing the act one climax and I'm so so excited it's all coming together and I'm buzzing so tomorrow I'm really going to just try to do an uninterrupted couple of hours and maybe blast out four thousand words wish me luck Hi everyone, it is currently NaNoWriMo day six. It is a Sunday and it is currently 10 to two. And I've actually had a somewhat positive writing day today. I basically had a bit of a lie in, got up and lounged in front of the TV for a little longer than I was supposed to and then started writing. And I actually did some sprints. So I used the NaNoWriMo website. There is a function where you can set yourself writing sprints and I did just that and I've managed to write 672 words kind of early afternoon so I'm really happy by like where the novel's going I do find that like I'm struggling to write certain scenes and this isn't really a case where I've not planned the scene so I'm writing kind of blind it's more of a case of like wanting to capture the darkness that I've got in my head onto the page and I think I said this at the beginning of the vlog where like I'm not really used to writing like dark things and it is quite a dark novel and I also really want to create that kind of atmosphere and the whole point of the novel without giving too much away is like the question of like is this real or is this imaginary like this phenomena that's happening and trying to do that like via show not telling is quite hard and yeah, I'm kind of just reaching a difficult stage where I'm just kind of like, oh, this is just difficult. But I think in these situations, you've just got to remember, I'm saying this to myself mainly, this is draft zero, this is not the finished book. And I try to write and I'm editing as I write and that's really bad. So I need to just be like, remove any pressure from the whole thing, just try to capture what I can and then I can always go back and polish it up if it just doesn't read right. Um, but there you go. I'm sat here with a cup of tea and I'm going to try and write 3,000 words today. So it's a big writing day for me, quite an ambitious word count, but I feel like I can do it. I've still got quite a lot of hours of the day left. 
And honestly, it is so rainy today. Like, I do need to go out and do a food shop, but apart from that, like, I'm not going outside in that. Like, it's grim. And that is one of the best things about NaNoWriMo being set in November, because especially in the UK, it's so rainy and grim that, like, you don't want to go outside and socialise because, like, you're going to be wet and cold. So it's fine. It is what it is. So anyway, that's my quick update for day six. And I am already tracking well above, obviously, the expected word count for NaNoWriMo. I'm on 20,749 words. So I'm very close to hitting that 25,000 mark. And I really hope to hit that in the next few days because I just feel like as soon as I get to that point, I'm obviously halfway through NaNoWriMo of like hitting 50,000. And even though my overall word count for NaNoWriMo is like 80,000, I feel like at least it's one step closer. So enough rambling from me, I'm going to get back to writing and hopefully we'll hit my word count goal for today. Hi everyone, checking in, it is currently 23 minutes past 6 in the evening and I have been writing all afternoon. I'm currently at 3,176 words written today, which is over my daily word count that I really want to hit. So I'm going to go in the bath and just have a relax for the rest of the evening. I think it's important, like if you do hit your daily word count like I've just done, which I'm very pleased about, to kind of reward yourself by, you know, having a evening off or like reading or like doing something you enjoy so i am now on 23,253 words overall and i'm approaching my act one climax and i've got a really big dramatic scene planned for chapter nine which is the final chapter in act one and i am like eager to get to that point like i don't know how my characters are going to get there but i kind of like i'm just going to wait and see how they get there basically and that is why i really like being a pantser like just not really having kind of a plan like i would say that i am a bit of a pantser in the sense that i plan those crucial scenes like i have an idea of what crucial scenes are going to happen so i know what's going to happen in the end i have a feeling of what's going to happen in the middle and i know that this big scene is going to happen at the end of act one but i don't really know anything else in between that and i'm just kind of going with it um it is really fun because i am writing a historical novel and it is set in my favorite time period the regency period and i'm just like just in my element basically it is so so fun um so so far so good i'm going to just have a chill for the rest of the evening and just enjoy the fact that i've managed to write over 3,000 words today so it's been a huge success hello everyone from the exact same spot i was in yesterday it is currently day seven of NaNoWriMo and of course the 7th of november so Oh, I've had a very long day today, a very long work day, and I didn't really stop working um, until about half six. I was working from home. And then I needed to wash my hair because I'm going to the office tomorrow. And by the time I started writing, I needed to stop again for dinner. So it's currently 20 past eight, as I said. And honestly, I'm just hoping to get the daily word count today. I've already written 311 words, so I'm just gonna keep going tonight until I can't do any more. I think especially after such a productive day yesterday, I'm feeling like the slog of going into the second week of NaNoWriMo and just being like, I want my life back, you know? <laughs> Which is, I know, really dramatic, but like, oh, I just, what I would do to just relax right now. But no, not in November. So I'm gonna go get back to my novel and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit to round off this vlog. So it's currently 20 past nine and I've written 1,328 words today. So a little bit short of my kind of daily goal, which is the usual NaNoWriMo goal of 1,667 words. But because I obviously wrote over 3,000 words yesterday, I feel like that's okay. I didn't leave myself like loads of time tonight to write and I think like the start of the chapter that I'm currently writing was so hard to write like I was really struggling to come up with anything and actually like what I was writing so I'm kind of in a good place now where actually I've really found my groove and I've gotten back into 
the scene and I'm kind of like really enjoying the setup right now and I'm excited about what's to come. I have now written in total 24,580 words so I am less than 500 words away from the big 25,000 and feeling good. I am going to edit I'm going to end this vlog now as it's the end of week one and I think it's been a super successful week so far. So do follow along for my other NaNoWriMo videos. I will be doing weekly writing videos that hopefully will have tidbits of information that might be helpful to you if you are also writing a book this NaNoWriMo or if you're just writing a book in general. Like I do hope that these vlogs will be educational and also informative and help you kind of just get the extra inspiration you need to write your novel. So without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon in my next video, guys. Bye.